Hi, welcome to Diamond Delight Edibles. My name is Liz, if this is the first time you're joining, and for the rest of you guys, welcome back. Thank you, as always, for your amazing support. My subscribers are going up daily, and oh, I love you guys. You're amazing, and I really do appreciate it. So today, being summertime, I thought I'd do a nice frozen treat for us. So we're going to do can of freezies and can of yogurt pops. So yum, yum, that'll be good. And uh, so I'm uh, not much more to get into or babble about. I'm going to get into our ingredients, what we need, and we'll get that all put together. All right, so what we're going to need for our freezies is a can of concentrated, any flavor that you prefer. Um, doesn't matter. I'm going with fruit punch today. Um, can of syrup and or can of sugar if you don't have one or the other. If you don't know how to make these from tincture, I do have the videos on them. Uh, one for can of sugar and the other one is for, uh, it says, um, can of flour, powder, sugar, and syrup. So if you're not sure how to make them, you can have a look at those videos. So again, for our freezies, we're going to need this. Oh yeah, we're going to need water. Um, this goes for, I believe, three cans. So we're gonna probably, we're gonna do probably about one and a half cans to two cans, because you wanna keep a more concentrated flavor. But the nice thing is you can taste it as you go to see how you like it, so you can add, um, add as much or as little water as you like. Um, additional flavor, like I said, if you want, coloring if you'd like, because you're gonna get a little green tinge happening with our syrups. And this is a tart and sour, so if you want to make them a bit sour without ad adding additional citric acid, which can be a little overpowering, this tart and sour is great from Lorraine's. Uh, there's a link. I'll make a link available for you. Now, that's for our freezies. For our yogurt pops, what you're going to use is any uh, plain yogurt, or you can use a flavored yogurt. Again, this is totally optional to you. Um, so I'm just going with a plain yogurt. I have a uh, two tablespoons of can of sugar and two tablespoons of regular sugar and I'm going to use make these mango so what I've done is I've chopped up some fresh mango and I've added two tablespoons of can of sugar to it sprinkled over mixed it all in and put it in the fridge and what that does is creates its own the um, fruit macerates and you makes its own syrup so it's really sweet it pulls out the natural sugars from the fruit that you're using creating its own um, nice syrup so that'll give a nice flavor to your yogurt pops and um, and some type of liquid so I'm going to use the Kool-Aid waters again you can use your fruit juice uh, corresponding flavor um, uh, blah, what else um, yeah, pretty much any type of juice that you would like to use. So if you want to keep it healthier, you can go with a real fruit juice. I'm not on them so much healthy, so I'm using these Kool-Aid waters, which are nice, because they're 50% less sugar, and they'll just have a nice flavor. So I picked the tropical one, and they're clear, which is why I like them as well. And we're going to use a quarter teaspoon of citric acid in either side. So I'm going to get together uh, what we need, not too much, and we'll get this put together. Alrighty, so for our freezies and our uh, yogurt pops, you're going to need uh, these uh, freezy holder or container or thingamajiggers. I got these off Amazon. Again, I'll throw a link down for you to make it easy. I found these by Fluke, so I really wanted to make freezies, but thought, how was I going to freeze them? And somehow Amazon reads your mind, and all of a sudden things pop up. And wow, it's like, oh, cool. So yeah, so they're actual freezy containers. They're Ziploc, and they come with a funnel which makes it very handy for pouring. You're gonna need a measuring cup and uh, another tall cup for um, that's gonna help assist us with uh, pouring them in, just for holding. And a blender, that's gonna be for our yogurt, for our yogurt pops. And then I've got this little handy sealer because although they Ziploc, I found that they weren't sealing great. So there's these little handy sealers. You can get them at Walmart, almost anywhere, um, grocery stores I've found them. Uh, if not, again, I'll throw a link down for you uh, to make it easy and get them online. They're really inexpensive and they're super easy to use. And that's, for, oh, um, some kind of spoon or something for mixing would be helpful. I'll get that one of those and we'll get these ingredients together and uh, make some freezies. All right, so for the freeze, for our freezies, we are going to empty our juice into our measuring cup. Hang on to the can because we need to get the use up for our water. I am going to add in two tablespoons of can of syrup. One second. All right, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of our can of syrup. Okay. 
And again, if you're going to ask me about dosing, I put a link for the calculator that I use. You guys can figure it out for yourselves. Because again, the reason why I don't talk about it is not, not that I'm being rude. Um, it's because everybody's is different. The amount that you use, uh, the type of um, product that you used, how much your base THC is, if you decarbed or not, um, how much you made, etc. What what you um, used as your medium. So all those things play a factor. And um, so yeah, so that's why I don't really talk about dosing. I just do what I do for my recipes, which work really well. So that's two tablespoons of our can of syrup. And we'll need a quarter teaspoon of citric acid. Get rid of that. And two cups of water. So I'm gonna taste it after one. I wanna see what that tastes like first. There's my spoon. I'm going to mix that up. We're going to heat this up so that the syrup melts and gets all uh, incorporated properly so we don't have any big chunks of syrup um, in one freezy and nothing in another. Because see, it, the syrup's sticky there, but I just want to go for taste. Ooh, that's a little sweet. Two cans. Kind of give us a taste of what that tastes like. Oh, that's nice. I go with two cans. And now I'm going to put this in the microwave for about 50 seconds to heat it all up. Uh, 50 seconds to about a minute or so. I don't want it boiling, I just want it um, heated just before boiling, just so everything gets melted. All right, so I heat that, heated that up for a minute. And um, so it's nice and warm, but it's not boiling. And you're just going to continue to mix it until uh, that syrup is all melted. And now see what I mean about the color darkening up because of the greenish going in. So if you want to add your, some additional color to it, you can do that now. I'm going to add a little more pink. I don't like to add too much color, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to add in a touch of tutti frutti just because I like tutti frutti. I do two capfuls. I'm going to give that a taste and see what that tastes like. Ooh, that is yummy, yummy. All right, so we're going to get these into um, the freezing containers. Oh, you grab one of these puppies. I'm not going to let a bit of pain to open. Yeah. Ooh, that flavor does not taste good on its own. All right, so get her open. Slide in your funnel. That's what I use the tall cup for. And then just pour gently. And then you want to leave a little room up top, one so you can close it, and two um, for freezing and expanding. Take that out, close your zip zip, and if you've got one of these sealers, just give it a little extra. Boop. And then that's it. Toss it in the freezer, obviously until frozen. Um, they take about five, six hours or so, or you might have, if you have a deep freeze, they won't take as long. And uh, then you get to enjoy. Oh, come on, man. Seriously. Let's try to show one more nice and easy. And that's it. I'm going to finish filling these guys up, and then we'll get into the yogurt pops. For our yogurt pops, where of course we're going to need our yogurt. So I'm going to go with uh, two cups of yogurt. And I said I'm using plain, but you can definitely use a flavored uh, yogurt, uh, one that corresponds with your fruit if you're doing fruit. And I'm adding in 
probably about a cup of chopped up fruit that I have already soaked in the um, two tablespoons of can of syrup, or sorry, can of sugar. And I am going to add two tablespoons of can of syrup. water and I believe this equals about uh, one cup get our lid on so you're going to continue to blend just continue to blend it until it's nice and smooth and I'm going to transfer it over I'm going to give it a little taste first see if there's anything else I need to add Oh, that's what I forgot to add was actually the sugar. Duh. So I'm going to add in the two tablespoons of canned sugar and uh, two tablespoons of regular sugar. So these are going to be very potent. So I just put a, realized I put a whole lot of can in there. And again, any of those ingredients with the can and the sugar, the can and the syrups and stuff, you can do whatever it is that you like you know, to you um, to your taste or uh, your dosing. So I've mixed in my flavor and I'm not going to add any additional color to it. It's kind of a pretty color on its own. So pour it into your, apparently I still have some lumps. <laughs> this is not the best blender. Probably the one that makes smoothies would work a lot better for you. Well, where did my Timmy's cup go? Oh, here you are. Just the same thing. You're just going to fill those up and freeze them as so. <coughs> Holy mackerel. Okay, I don't like you. That was quite the effort. Ah! Overfill. And this is why we do it over a cup. So just squeeze as a little the excess. And I'm just going to rinse that one off. And that's it. I'm going to finish filling these up. So uh, the other recipe, the freezies, made nine freezies. This is probably, it was four cups, so it's going to make about the same amount. Eight to nine freezies for you. Uh, sorry, yogurt pops. And that's it. I'm going to fill these little suckers up, and I'll come back and say goodbye. All right, guys. So that is my demonstration on uh, freezies and yogurt pops. I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me, and I do hope you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, check out my library, and there's going to be lots more videos to come. So thanks again for watching. You have an awesome rest of your day.